it's nice time for for open forum. If you have questions, you have uh, you can also share uh, share your experience about uh, about your work related to our topic tonight. Any questions? Any sharing? Although uh, there is no rating system in the Philippines about uh, green materials, uh, in Green AP we are actually trying to help uh, a group which is called Green Choice Philippines, you know, which actually tries to classify green materials, not only for the construction industry but for all types of materials. Right? And Green AP is helping. materials that are May ginagawa ko kasi kami isang green building dito po sa Makati Avenue Corner pa sa Yumi Rojas. At ang isa po namin uh, nire-require sa mga supplier namin or vendor, yung tinatawag ni, ni Architect Oven, recycled materials. So, paano po namin sinusukat ito? Tinatanong po namin sa mga supplier namin, ilang po percentage ang content ng materials mo na post-consumer, ilang po ang percentage na pre-consumer. Hindi po nila maintindihan ito. So, ang misa po, kung pinapupunta sa amin, mga safe person, and then they don't know anything about metallurgy. Maybe I can talk about specific uh, vendor we have, still Asia. And I asked them this question, and wow, ano yun? Ano yun? Uh, recycled content. Ganon. Yung pala po na sila, nasa sales, ganon. So sabi ko, uh, ah, we are moving the market. The whole purpose of green architecture is market transformation in terms of demand pushing, you pushing the demand and you're also pulling the supply such that the market, that there's market for recycled materials, there's market for renewable materials, we must create it ourselves. So right now, because of these buildings that we have that are uh, would that be certified as green? The market now is in the process of changing, transformation. So they are now, uh, there are even some vendors who, who brag, hey, our, our materials in this field came from Russia. That we go, that's wrong because we are looking for regional materials. We are looking for locally produced materials within a 500 miles or 800 kilometers radius. So then, how do they have a concept? na anong ipoproduce namin. So, uh, kanina namang hapon, ang anak, yun po sa East Asia, tapos kanina naman, yung mga nag-manufacture ng pipes. So, tinanong ko sa, sa kanila, saka yung mga sealants and mga paints, ano pa po ang VOC content ng material? Ano yung VOC? Ganon. Uh, and then, for example, uh, Republic Chemicals, they asked me, Papa, ano ba maging green materials ang aming mga silang ng aming nato? So I told them, there's some certain na criteria like yung si content. So maraming maraming po na experience ko kung papaano natin i-green yung market, yung supply, and the demand. Thank you, sir, Kat. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. That the current materials available. This, what's the school of thought on on this on this thing right now? I was asked that same question by um, Ayala Lan um, of Architects, right? Because uh, they wanted to do uh, environmental, go green. Now my my answer to that question was. That first of all, we as designers, we are the ones who are telling our clients how much our designs cost. Tama ba? Now, we are the ones in control of the budget. So, in, in effect, we should be able to manage the budget to fit the needs of our client. Now, I do not think that it is impossible to come up with a green structure and automatically make it expensive. Otherwise, we are just jacking up our professional fees, right? 
So if we really are concerned about um, environment, it is up to us or incumbent upon us to make sure that the particular cost stays within market rates. Pagka naitindihan mo natin ang concept ng green or environmental, there are several stages of green or several. Yung hierarchy ng green, it can be passive, it can be energy efficient, it, it can introduce uh, materials, recycled materials, whatever. But in effect, kung ang formula ho ninyo sa peso is, let's say 4 pesos, it was cut, that mong how you explain this to me. If your budget is 4 pesos for a particular item, so, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, right? But 3 plus 1 is still equal to 4. So, meaning, you invest more money on something which may be green, at saka sacrifice mo yung isa to meet that particular project, uh, budget. They say that if you really want to go green, um, it will cost you something like, uh, ka, tama ba? Is it 10% more? 5? Oh, eight to 10%. 8 to 10%. So okay, as a designer, I always pick at a particular price, which is my client's price. But we can always be creative in how to execute it. Um, so ang ang ano ko na lang dito, ang driver ko na lang dito is research. Can to research. Uh, nung natapos ko yung question ay yung sa yaganan, uh, medyo episodes again over it. Uh, kasi po kamami makikisize na naman ako dito. But um, it does not hurt to do a little bit of research and to try to impress upon your client that you really are doing your best service for them. Um, at the end of the day, uh, masaya ako pagka na-execute ko kahit 10% of green. Masaya na ako. Kasi we cannot really satisfy everyone. So, um, if cost is an issue, then make your designs or your projects meet that particular cost. Uh, I hope that helps. No? If that's a, one way to move forward. Now, yun na lang pag ko. And it helps me. Um, it, uh, and it, takbo kami sa, ano, sa isang dita. Alam mo, it's cost efficient dito, research. Uh, ito na, nakakalbo na ako, maka-research. <laughs> Pero, uh, and then, eventually, uh, na-execute mo naman. And ano na, ang, ang, sa akin, ang pinakamagandang satisfaction is when they come back to me and say, you know, you, you made sense and you tried your best. And if it, it works, sometimes it doesn't, but then at least, you tried your best. And uh, we're happy with what you have produced for us. What is uh, known as life cycle cost. So it's always, it's not always the upfront cost, which sometimes may be more expensive, but it's the life cycle cost. No? And the second thing I just like to add to Hogan's very wonderful lecture, which I was looking forward to, to attend, is the concept that there is no absolute green, so to speak. No? There are levels of green. No? There's pros and cons because every material is complicated, every material has different components, every life cycle is different. So actually in the end, when you go for green materials, there is sort of shades of green material. Like if you want to put it in a, in, in, in a system, it's like maybe a five-star green material, it's a four-star green material, three-star green material, etc. Thank you, sir, Mike.